Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Kenny's Movie Palace for a short little pickup video. Haven't done a lot of spending uh, recently. Been watching a lot of movies. I'm going to put some uh, reviews of, I think, about like the 25 movies I watched this week. Um, very short video. Um, I have a couple pickups from uh, Mr. and Mrs. Al from Whatnot. Uh, Amazon pickup. Um, a giveaway that I won and uh, one eBay uh, um, item that I picked up thanks to my buddy uh, Stuart uh, over in the UK so uh, I'll link him below too for his videos he has a lot of great videos a lot of good uh, he I just got done watching his uh, horror pickup uh, well, his, his horror, horror collection on his shelves and stuff. Very interesting. A lot of good stuff. And I always keep a little pad beside me and write down uh, the movies that I must check out or uh, whatever. So, um, happy opening day. Phillies are on at 3 o'clock today. Go Phils. So, uh, I know a lot of you guys played yesterday. But we had rain here yesterday for the last two days. It was like Noah's Ark. So, uh all right, guys, uh, this is a uh, giveaway that I won from uh, Geriatric Geek. I'll put his uh, down below. Um, I call him Geek. His real name is Bill. But uh, I've been friends with him for uh, a while now. Really great guy. He loves his horror. Yes, he loves his horror. And um, he's got a great channel. Um, I highly recommend it, and I'll link it below. So in his giveaway... Um, it was, the, the code name was Marvels, and you could just put Marvels in there, and you, by select, I won. So, uh, the two that I picked were a spoonful of sugar. This is a shutter. If you guys haven't seen this one, I highly recommend checking this one out. This movie is great. And the girl in this, man, she was fantastic. She is absolutely in, criminally insane in this movie. But the movie is like really way out there. So Bill had, or Geek had an extra copy of this. And I picked this one. And the other one I picked, I didn't have this. Um, actually, uh, I watched the first 15 minutes of it and it didn't blow me away. But I think I have to sit and watch this again. And he had... The, an extra copy of the Marvels and just wanted to pick this up what I seen of it it didn't blow me away but my niece says you gotta watch it Uncle Kenny it, it'll be it'll be good so um he had this on 4k and one uh I'll give it an honest watch uh M I pa I will give this a, a watch um next one this one this is a uh I watched Stewart's video probably about a couple weeks ago and he was talking about how this was like a huge thing over in England and they watched they had like a certain time that they watched this every year it was on here in the United States I don't remember watching these I think I had we had it on it like when I worked at Movies Unlimited because it was a long movie and there was I think I only watched the first one but I really enjoyed the little English humor that was in between it, and Stuart was talking about Three Musketeers and the Four Musketeers with Michael York. Richard Stuart's a big uh, fan of Richard Chamberlain. Uh, I only seen him in the Thornbirds. That was uh, forty years ago. The Thornbirds like invaded like the United States, and it was super popular. I remember the next day going in, talking to all my friends, going how hot you know Rachel Ward was, you know. But uh, Richard Chamberlain was a, a huge actor in the 60s and 70s. And the only thing I remember him from in the 80s was uh, the Alan Quartermain and King Solomon's Mines and, of course, the Thornbirds. But these movies are actually really good. I watched, uh, I watched both of them the last two days, and they are really good. A young um, Raquel Welch is in this, too. And Michael York, I... I, I did a little bit of, I only remember him from a couple things, of course, like Austin Powers, but he was also in, was it Logan's Run? I think it was Logan's Run, uh, the sci-fi in the late 70s. 
but he, he must have been like a huge actor over in England. Uh, and I was like going through his work. He was, uh, he's, was knighted over in England too. So, um, yeah, this is all has two discs. And, um, I, I really enjoyed it. The, the seller put a little bit of, uh, bubble wrap in between it. So not to scratch it, but yeah, uh, I got this for 15 bucks on eBay free shipping so i was very happy with this uh the seller was a douchebag and didn't give me a uh um a review so <clears throat> with him so i'm never going to buy from him again but hey for 15 bucks i got two movies and thank you Stuart, for the recommendation i thoroughly enjoyed both of the movies so they were very good uh this one i got from um amazon um i love this movie i've had it like on i think every format except for Laserdisc. But I got this on 4K. The picture is a little bit darker than the Blu-ray version of it is, and that is Clue. I am not a big slip card uh, guy, but this was the original movie poster um, that they did. They uh, reincarnated uh, on this. I did. I never liked the generic, you know. Um, um, I like the uh, DVD cover, but I did not like uh, the Blu-ray cover where they just have the images and then it says "Clue the movie." But this is the uh, theatrical poster. I wish they would have done a little bit more. Like I know, uh, I think it's Paramount Presents. I see a lot of uh, sellers buy. Um, and they do the fold out where they have the original poster on there. I would have liked them to do this, but hey, I was like thrilled with this. I had fun. I chose my own, the can, the uh, machine chose its own ending for me. So, uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, but like I said, the picture was a little bit dark. Uh, so I'll see, uh. I'll, I'll definitely check this again because this is one that I watch every basically every month. It's one of my favorite movies. So uh, next one, this was an, another Amazon one that I got. Um, no, it wasn't Amazon. It was because uh, the Amazon order never came, so I found it, it cheaper, and I got this for ten bucks on the eBay, and it's eighteen eighty three on DVD. So I am thrilled to get this one. I love this. I watched this when I was down in Florida with my uncle. We binge watched it basically in two nights. We were up till like four o'clock in the morning watching this. And this guy right here, Sam Elliott, he deserved an Emmy for this role. This movie is so good. And Tim, I'm a big fan of Tim McGraw, not too much of Faith Hill, but they were very good. And that little girl right at the end, my Lord, she's going to have a big, uh, big career in Hollywood. But if you guys haven't checked this, even if you don't like uh, the, I know there's a lot of people that don't like uh, Yellowstone because of Kevin Costner. You guys got to check this one out. And 1990, uh, 1993, 1923 with Helen Mirren and um, um, uh, Harrison Ford is very good too. I'm only four episodes into that, and that's really good. So, but check this one out. I highly recommend this. Um, and the other ones, these are from my favorite people in the world, Mr. and Mrs. Alf uh, from Whatnot. I'll leave the tag below where you can go. If you're watching this one Friday night, they are going to be on Whatnot at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight. Highly recommend them. They are the sweetest people in the world. They go out of your way for you. If you want something, you write a list, they'll go through the list. Um, they didn't have the items that I wanted, uh, right away and opened up the box and it was there. So very happy. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Alpha and Mrs. Alpha. Thank you very much for the cookies. Um, I have them right beside me, so I'll be eating them, uh, while watching the Phillies game. So the first one that I wanted was Wish Disney. Never seen it. I collect all the Disney movies, so I'm very happy to get this one. And the next one, um, I love I love the director of this guy. Um, this I try to watch all of his movies, and I heard 
It's gotten mixed reviews, but I wanted to see it. It's Ferrari with Adam Driver, and I love Shailene Woodley. I am a big fan of hers. But uh, got that one. Another one I picked up. I'm going to give it a rewatch. I'm not the biggest Jake Gyllenhaal fan in the world. I don't find him a compelling actor. Um, I did watch this movie before it was on streaming. And um, if there was a better actor, I feel, my opinion, in, in the Jake Gyllenhaal role, this is based on true events. It's a Guy Ritchie movie, and I love all Guy Ritchie movies. But I feel if, like, maybe George Clooney or if Chris Pratt or John Karinsky played this role, I, I feel it would have been better. And this is The Covenant, Guy Ritchie's Covenant. I like the story. I like the, I like the movie. It and Guy Ritchie always has done a great job with uh, directing of their uh, of his movies. I just didn't like Jake Gyllenhaal. So my friend told me, give it another uh, chance, and you know, you maybe like it. So the Covenant is uh, a second viewing. Uh, next one, I just took a floor, uh, flyer because I I loved all, both of the Sicario, uh, Sicario movies. This one has Danny Trejo in it. I uh, love Danny Trejo. I seen my buddy Bryce pick up a Danny Trejo um, pop the other day. So I have to look into that. But this one is called American Sicario. Hopefully Danny is not in it for five minutes and he is in this movie. So I don't know if this just came out or not, but... Anything with Danny Trejo. I am like geriatric geek. I am a big Danny Trejo fan. And the biggest purchase. I have this on DVD and Blu-ray. But I wanted to upgrade. Thanks to my buddy Sean from Movie Assault. Uh, from uh, For giving me one. And Mr. A and Mrs. Alf had this uh, for sale. And I contemplated it. And then I bought it. Because... I couldn't find it any cheaper than what they give it for. So, dun, 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 dun. the Indie in 4K set. It's not the steel books. I am not a steel book person. Uh, this has a, a cool map that has the original posters that this will be framed in my living room. Hopefully, you can see that. And then it has cool, cool photos of the movies throughout. And then it has five discs. It's got um, all the movies and then one special features. So I literally just opened this one up. So I probably will not get a chance to watch it tonight because the Phillies are on and then uh, SmackDown is on wrestling. WrestleMania in Philly next week. So here's the front of it. <clears throat> here's the back. And like I said, if you guys have whatnot and you're not on Mr. and Mrs. Alf, I highly recommend Mr. and Mrs. Alf. Mr. Alf gives the best deals out there. His shipping, he shipped this on Monday and today's Friday. I mean, and I'm in Philly and he's in California. So, and I know, uh, I always ask Mrs. Alf, hey, how's the weather out there? Because I'm always interested in what the weather in California is. So, but uh, yeah, if you guys are not with Mr. and Mrs. Alf, I highly, highly recommend on whatnot. I'll leave the links below. So uh, that's all my pickups for like the last three weeks, basically. Um, I might or might not do a Kino Lorber uh, pickup, uh, depending uh, because there's too much in my cart. So, all right, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe. What did you like? Have you seen American Sicaro? Have you seen The Covenant? Am I absolutely crazy about Jake Gyllenhaal? Um, have you seen the uh, Ferrari? Uh, have you seen Wish yet? I highly recommend 1883. And if you haven't watched Clue, 
in all these years, I highly recommend this. This is one of the funniest comedies. And thanks again to Stuart for the recommendation of Three and Four Musketeers. Highly recommend these movies. Really nice, especially for um, Easter. These are family movies, and you can put this on Swashbucklers. You can put this on. So, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me uh, what you liked and what you did not like about my uh, pickups. So, uh, guys, happy Easter. Happy Good Friday. Um, take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and, uh, I will see you on the next one. I'll be doing some reviews of, like, the movies that I've watched. So, guys, have a great holiday, uh, weekend. God bless you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.